starting the beginning. Full professional. Oh yeah. Lubuskie Centrum Czystości. Hello my friends. Today we are in my workshop and I'm beating some rugs. Now it's rolling. I will take this rug and put it into the other place. Okay, the next one. Pretty rock. Very pretty. Let's see what is inside this one. I see a lot of wooden chunks and this one is very dirty. There are some chunks on it. This one is getting in. Changing the rotation of the beating. And you will be next. I will help him to roll up. Okay. And I will prepare this one. Now I will put it into machine. Oh. Starting the beating. The belts are starting to beating. A very powerful belts. I will take this one to the others. I am changing the speed and the beating power. Oh, that's okay. Just see how the machine shakes the carpet. And the rest of the dirt is going out here into the bag. Through this filter. Very good job. Oh, this needs to be removed. Here. Few minutes and I will start to wash it. Just take a look. All the chunks were gone. The rack is now free of dirt and sand. 
and it's prepared to washing. Changing the rotation of the belts to make sure the whole carpet is fitted very well. Speeding up to faster rolling. It runs smoothly. I can turn off the machine and take off the rug. It's pretty heavy. Okay. I need to check which side the pile is falling. Okay. To make sure the water will go into the drain. Okay. I need also to do one thing before washing. This is my flashing wand. And when I change it, the view of camera, I need to make this hose longer. I've got additional chunk, chunk of hose, and I will put it here. First, I need to unscrew this belt with some tools now oh, this one is good I must do this careful because the water can shoot from this hose. Oh, now I need metal like this. I need to check, does it fit correctly? Okay. Oh yeah. I've got some tools. I will put this here. But first I need to use the sealing tape. Okay. Now better. We need to make sure to don't do this too hard 
because you can damage the screw. Okay. And now we can align those two hoses. But first I need to make the seal also here. This is smaller, one millimeter, than this hose, but I didn't have the other one and I need to use this one. But I think it will work very good when I'm using this Teflon tape. Okay. The liquid for washing the dishes. And now I I will prepare two belts. Those two will be good. Okay. And the second one. Full professional. The both of them are stainless steel. I need to check, is it working? Perfect. Now it's longer. Okay. But before washing, I need to change my uniform. Ragination. Uh. Rag and fluff. Hmm. Ah, rag and puff. Okay. Now I will use the flashing wand.
something yellow is coming out from the rug. Now I will apply the cleaning solution. with my watering can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm also using the warm water to extract the chemicals. Okay. And now I can apply it into the rack. One can, one watering can for one rug. We see now that the dirty water starting to going out from the rug. The rug doesn't look as uh, much dirty, but it definitely hiding something. Look. I think that some pets uh, are using this rack. Okay. Now I will make a first scrubbing uh, with scrubbing machine. Let's start. It's very important to make sure that the scrubbing is also done with the corners of the rack. Now we will only need to wait a few minutes. Now I will use additional warm water.
and now I will scrub the rug second time. Okay, it's finished. Now I can use the squeegee. We see that the water is dirty. Now I can use the pressure washer. Now the squeegee again. I 
I see that the rack is much cleaner now, but it doesn't have a color. So I need to use the other cleaning solution that will pop up the color. I will also use some additional warm water. Because the washing is better in higher temperature, like in wash machine. You see that the dirt is still coming out of the rack. We can make cleaning fast, but not when the dirt is old. You see? There is still dirt inside. Okay. And I will use this brush because it's nylon brush. It's very good for removing the dirt, but it doesn't damage the rack pile. Now I can remove the dirt. Oh, now the color is much better. Now, small rinsing. Thank you. 
Okay. Now the squidging. A dirt hidden in the rug. Now I will scrub the second side. And I'm also using additional water. Very well. A good scrubbing. <laughs> oh, what a bubbles.
Okay. and the flashing. There is still a lot of brown water, but now I'm removing it with squeegee. Now I will apply the softener Okay. And now I see I have missed one spot. It appears now. It's some kind of green something. I will try to remove it. It's starting to come out from the rack. It smells very good, like orange. It's not easy to remove the things like this because it needs ta it need a time. You see that the water is almost clear, but there is green stain. Very hard to remove.
but it's going on. Almost 100%. Okay, now it looks better. Just take a look at the pile. Now it's standing up because the softener is making a very good work. It will be very, very fluffy after washing. Okay, I will open the centrifuge and turn it on. And the last flashing. Now I can roll up the rack with water. And it will go out with the centrifuge. Bye bye. And now I am starting the centrifuge. The water is almost clear. And the centrifuge is working very quiet. Now I will wait a few minutes and the rack will be ready. Now it's fluffy and clean.
Let's take a look here. Very good. And the underside is also brighter now. Yeah, 